For reviewing the multi-room facilities of the Advanced Paris WTC Stream Pro I reviewed last week, the Dutch distributor ServiQ lent me a very affordable little streamer, the WTX MicroStream. Initially I had no intention of reviewing it. Now don't expect the sound quality of a 500 euro streamer, but it's such a cute handy device that adds streaming from the internet sources and from your own computer or NAS in a breeze. And it costs less money than a ticket for hands on calling in a car, at least in my country. The unit plugs it directly into the line input of your amplifier. Line inputs are all inputs on your amp with the exception of the phono input. Let's see how it works. The WTX microstream is to be plugged into a line input on the rear of your stereo. Using the free downloadable iOS or Android app you can connect the WTX microstream to your Wi-Fi base station. Now you can play music from the internet radio stations or one or more streaming services you are subscribed to. If you have music stored in your computer or NAS and have a DNA or UPnP AV server program running, you can play from there too provided the computer or NAS is switched on. Selecting music and setting volume is done using the smartphone or tablet. This nice picture by Advanced Paris shows the WTX microstream from all sides. You might notice that it still carries the old name Advanced Acoustics since this product stems from the period before the renaming to Advance Paris or Advance Paris since it's a French company. It measures 75 by 95 by 14 mm and weighs only 35 grams. When the WTX microstream is plugged in you still need 95 mm depth for the power connector. If that space is not available a simple RCA extension cord can be used. The distance between the RCA's matches the standard distance you find on almost all audio equipment with the exception of some very costly equipment that doesn't use the standard RCA socket modules. On the side a WPS button for easy coupling with your Wi-Fi base station. Behind it a bright blue LED that indicates the device status. Blinking means switched on but no Wi-Fi contact. Steady blue means switched on and online. On the opposite side of the RCA's we find the DC power input. The matching switch mode power supply comes with the unit. Opening the tiny plastic housing was not possible without breaking it. So the only thing I can tell you about the inside is that it uses the Walsam WM8740 DAC chip. The same as in the WT Extreme Pro. It also does the same audio formats. PCM file format up to 24 bit 192 kHz using the following file formats. WAV, AIFF, FLAC, Apple Lossless, AAC, AAC Plus, APE, Real Audio, MP3, WMA and UG. You can stream music synchronized to all advanced Paris streaming products present in your network which makes it a nice product for large houses and other venues where the music has to be distributed over multiple rooms. Simply use a mesh Wi-Fi network exclusively for this application and you can distribute audio to many rooms without installing any cabling. Standard operation is as DNA renderer, but it also works as AirPlay renderer. As AirPlay renderer, the sending device, for instance an iPhone, sends a music stream to the WTX microstream that performs the decrypting and plays it back over the analog outputs. AirPlay is an Apple protocol that uses lossless compression to keep the load in the Wi-Fi network as low as possible and encrypting to avoid problems with copyright owners that otherwise might consider it to be broadcasting. It is good to realize that both work without any damage to the audio bits. The only limitation is that 48 kHz is the highest sampling rate that is supported by AirPlay. DLA works differently. Here a program on a computer or NAS indexes the music and offers several lists of metadata to the controller. 
Nowadays the controller usually is a smartphone or tablet but there have been dedicated devices as well that still work. Depending on the server program used and its settings the number and kinds of lists can vary. Limited server software only offers lists of artists, albums, tracks and genre. This is often the case with DNLA server programs that also do video and photos. For music you might also want lists of composers, directors, release dates and so on. These lists can be found in the better DNLA server programs. I like Minim Server which only does music so no video nor photos. It already offers lists like director and you can add or alter list types if you're a bit handy with computers. After the DNA server has indexed the music files, the controller, being the app on the smartphone, reads in these lists and then you can choose a list, for instance album names, to browse through the music you want to play. If you then select a track or album, the server sends the audio data plus some metadata to the DNA renderer. In this case that's the WTX microstream. It doesn't have a display which to me is no problem since the same info is shown on the smartphone or tablet you use as controller. When you open the app it searches for advanced Paris streaming products and when found it checks for updates. If an update is available you will be asked if it should be installed. If not you are presented with advanced Paris streamers in your network. I also borrowed the WTX Stream Pro I reviewed last week. I select the WTX MicroStream after which the play screen appears. Let's go to the input screen where we see the available sources. Here you can choose from the sources I mentioned earlier. The app is in portrait mode only which is fine for an iPhone but often not on an iPad. Let's first see how to access the music on a computer or NAS and select Home Music Share. Let's go for Syn AT, the simple Synology DS119J NAS that runs Minim Server. Let's go for Albums and select Mudlark by Leo Kotka. From here I can play all tracks or any track. Let's get back to the input menu and go for High Res Streaming Service Tidal. Select My Music. Go to Artist and select my favorite rock singer Anouk. After selecting Michel from the album Urban Solitude, the tracks start playing and a play screen appears showing a rather slow revolving vinyl record with label. Tapping on the playlist button shows what music will be played next. Let's show you the streaming services you can add. As you can see I have most services active, only Simalaya and QQFM are switched off. Normal users, as in non-reviewers, will have only two or three services active. For instance, I hear radio, VTuner and Tidal. It's not the most impressive app, but it gets the job done and will suffice for most users. By the way, sometimes the term UPnP AV is used in the documentation. It stands for Universal Plug and Play Audio Visual. In practice it works exactly the same as DNLA. So you can use a UPnP AV server program as well. For this money the WTX MicroSteam sounds very good. It has almost the same wide and deep stereo image the WTX Stream Pro I reviewed last week has. It has somewhat less detail overall and sibilance is less well controlled. But for my setup 3 there remains more than enough quality left to enjoy music. There is no harshness as we know from the begin days of digital audio. Especially voices are more realistic. Forgive me that I once again point out the enormous progression digital audio has made especially over the last 10 years. The WTX MicroStream uses DNLA as standard like most mainstream brands and many speciality brands do. So if you have a high-end Lin name Marantz or Yamaha stereo in the living, the microstream can be used to stream to the old stereo in the study or garage and fully integrate into your network setup. But it's also a very attractive device if you're short on budget 
I want to add streaming to your stereo. Don't make the mistake I made. This is a nice device that offers more than its appearance promises. It certainly outperforms the complete Raspberry Pi setup with proper DAC, board, housing and power supply costing the same. Being a fan of the Asterix comic books I would say, ils sont pas fous ces gauloises. That brings us to the end of this video. There will be a new video next Friday if all goes well at 5 pm Central European time. Since you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media so you will be informed when new videos are out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to those viewers that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you like to support my work too, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I'm Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. And whatever you do, enjoy the music and keep safe.